which language should I choose if I want to start off with competitive programming or if I want to crack coding interviews or if I want to do problem solving in general, if I want to solve coding questions in general. So this is a problem, this is a question which a lot of students and beginners have in mind and I've been in your place as well, I have been there. I also searched a lot on Google on which, which language should I go for if I want to start solving coding questions and all. So I'm going to keep this video very, very short and to the point and uh, do watch this video till the end as well. So yes, I am going to tell you two answers for this. Generally, people have this conception that if you want to solve coding questions, you should definitely go with for either C++ or Java. I'm not going to tell you that because you already know that uh, you uh, people are generally going to tell you for to go for C++ or Java. But what if I tell you that I have seen people who have cracked coding interviews using JavaScript? Are you surprised? No need to be surprised. That's actually the truth. So the first thing is that you should always keep in mind that what are your goals? So if your goal is to crack those high level coding competitions like ACM, ICBC, uh, then definitely you might want to go with C++ or Java and you also know the differences between these two languages that C++ might be relatively faster and Java might be relatively easier and all these things. So I'm not going to go in the, in the details of all those uh, things which you already know. So that was the first thing. But that was again if you have to crack those high level competitions. If your goal is just to crack those coding interviews it's not at all necessary to uh, code in either Java or C++. You can so, uh, choose your language of your choice and you might have already seen this. Uh, whenever you go for any coding interview, uh, the first round is probably if you are sitting on an on-campus placement or even in off-campus placement, the first round is generally online online coding interview round. Yes, it is, isn't it? So in those online coding questions, while you are solving them, you might have seen the list of languages has a lot of options. So they, the companies don't have, generally don't have any problem in any, in whatever language are you going to choose. So yes, that was my point. Uh, people solve coding questions in Python, people solve coding question in JavaScript. Yes, don't be surprised. JavaScript is actually uh, increasing a lot these days. You might see on YouTube and on many other places that people actually keep releasing videos and content related to data structures and algorithms implemented in JavaScript and there's no nothing wrong in it. And But yes, the second point here is that you should always keep in mind that if you are sitting for an interview on a particular language or let's say the recruiter is actually searching for a Java developer or a C++ uh, coder or, or maybe a JavaScript developer or something like that, then you might want to prefer the language which the recruiter is looking for. Let me tell you why again because let's say there are two people, two candidates for that particular interview and the role is of Java developer. So first person codes the questions out in C++ and the second person codes it out in Java. Although both are equally, equally uh, competent because if you know any basics of any particular language, let it be C++ or Java, shifting the language is not at all a difficult task and it generally takes one or two weeks or maybe three weeks to make a switch between languages. It's, it's not a complicated process. So yes, the recruiter uh, might see you equal, but still the recruiter might, might actually prefer uh, the Java developer because he is actually looking for a Java developer and he knows that the second candidate already knows Java. So yes, let's end the video here. And if you have any more questions you want to ask me, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And if you have any doubt which you want to ask me related to anything in general, any career related doubt, any any tech related doubt, feel free to throw it on madhavayan.tech slash ask. So this is uh, a new initiative which I have taken, Ask the Lean Programmer, in which you can send me the queries you have uh, on this particular Google form and I will try to go through it and release YouTube videos on those particular queries. So yes, this is it for today. Do subscribe to my channel, uh, YouTube channel if you are new there. And bye bye, see you next week.